black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hello and welcome to me eating six hard shell beef tacos in the evening air, the evening vibe. It's very nice. We're out here, it's birds, it's cars, it's planes, it's automobiles, and it's tacos. And it's also for a change of pace because of the day I was craving a lemonade for some reason. So I got a brisk lemonade here on deck. These guys are from Taco Time, it's Taco Tuesday. It's going brazy over there. I waited the dinner rush out and still the line is just smash slammed VV hard. So talk was procured uh, somehow between my truck and here, I lost the little dongle I needed for my microphone. So this is coming straight off the cam. I usually am mic'd up, but I lost my little dongle to connect my mic to my cam. So I'm pissed, okay? I'm, I'm livid you might say because it's a crucial integral part of my operation and I don't know how it goes missing from my truck to this here. I had it in my pocket and now she's gone. So I'm pissed, but you know, keep it in good spirits because we do have these tacos, many sauces and it's a beauty day and we got to count our blessies as long as this iceberg is breaching over the top of this lemonade, things are all good. Man, I have not had a lemonade in quite some time. So, maybe I will de-shade for this. Yeah, I guess I'll de-shade for this. It's not too bad. Sour cream in a bottle, and we got our uh, Crunchwrap Supreme homemade mild sauce. So, let's get into this straight away. And uh, I have a little predicament that I'm facing right now relative to my sketchy area that I live in. And being that it's drug season, and I kinda want y'all to weigh in on it. But before we do that, we need to squirt plenty of sour cream. And the mild. All right. Try to give you a little interior investigation. And the rest is mine. Home stocked squeeze bottle sauces, game changer. If you're not doing it, get into it. See? Just so perfect. Bite for you. Lots of craver. Mm. Power Saw Joe, of course. We remember him from last year. So here's my little predicament. Like I told you guys in the uh, people broke into my house while I was here story. My area is Sketchtown, USA. Due to the fact that right by me is a house that slings drugs. For about a month now, maybe longer, There's been this young dude, you know, late 20s, early 30s, and uh, 
I said in that story that right here to the left of me is sort of like a main road in a sense. Whereas the front of my house is more residential. So this main road has big wide uh, open parking basically like anybody can park and it's technically like the city, right? It's not really your property per se. But these people that are getting drugs and stuff love to park right here. But this one guy, usually on the weekends, once a week, he drives a white uh, hatchback. And he has been, I guess, partying nearby, probably at the drug house. And I think he's got like a local like hooker, like prostitute style girlfriend that he like gets high with around here and employs her for the night. Because three times now, right outside my my door, him and her are passed out in the vehicle. Definitely had probably relations in the vehicle. And then they're just like sleeping it off. So I've gone up to the vehicle a few times just and just observed them just dead together. In his, in his hatchback. Looks very uncomfortable. Dead of the world. And, you know, they sleep it off and eventually he leaves, but it's right outside my house. Which I don't love. He's technically not bothering anybody. But I'm conflicted. Because one night... Without whatever circle he's involved in, it's gonna bring energy near my house. Energy that I don't want near my house. It's likely just a matter of time. And so I've been kind of giving him passes because really I don't own the road. And the other thing too is I don't want to call the cops and have him in the vehicle passed out and stuff still under the influence uh, and ruin his life because I know how shitty it is to get like a, a DUI or whatever, get your license taken. So I don't necessarily want to ruin the guy's life. So I suppose I should probably try to knock and talk to him the next time and just come to some sort of understanding because I definitely don't want to get him busted by calling the cops and then him basically putting two and two together and then having some sort of weird animosity towards me and my residence because I'm sure not nothing good will come of that so I'm conflicted as to what to do
I definitely know that I don't like him. Popped out right in front of my house in his vehicle. I suppose I answered my own question in a sense by kind of saying maybe I should just figure it out, like to try to talk it out with him. But the thing with that is I'm going to have to try to wake him out of like a death slumber in his car. And then try to have a logical conversation with reasoning. That he will remember and respect. Hopefully. Which to me given the type of person that I can kind of see that he is just judging by these shenanigans I feel like uh, that's wishful thinking to have it transpire like that All I know is the last thing I want is to be getting into some, oh, come on, <laughs> no, some petty fucking beef with some irrational person who's, you know, addicted. These are the things that happen in my life. That I must contend with, unfortunately. Yes, I'm eating cable lettuce. Nothing goes to waste. These are exceptional. Perfect amount of food. And don't mind my boo boo. I caught myself peeling potatoes for another video that's in the process of being made. A subscriber sponsored request, a good one, coming soon. Be on the lookout, it's gonna be a fun one I think. I'm into it. Yes, absolutely. Perfect. Let me know down below how you would go about my predicament that I find myself in. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.